All right, in our last example, we comp the perfect take using playlists. In this example, I want to talk to you about the regions list, which is right over here. Let's drag it out a little bit. Okay, so this is our regions list, and actually, let's change this back to playlist view. So now you can see all of our playlists from our last example. Um, I want you to notice something. Every time I click on a region in this edit workspace, its name is highlighted in this regions list. So as you can see, every time we click on a region, it highlights its name. Also, I want to call your attention to uh, some of these regions which are bolder than the others. So let's click the region. These represent the original take. And the ones that aren't in bold represent the regions that we created as we were editing the original takes. As you can see, uh, when we pushed this one, when we promoted this to the main playlist, we made a copy of it. And that is why it's not bold. It's not the original take. So what happens if we edit one of our copies? So here's this copy right here. You can see its uh, name in the regions list. Let's highlight it. Let's, let's split this. Did you see what it did? It added two new regions over here. So I'll undo it, and you can watch it again. Here's our take. We're going to split it adds two new regions and basically every time you edit a region it keeps the pre-edited region which is this one right here which no longer is represented in our session that's why when we click it, it nothing's highlighted uh, and then it makes new regions to represent what you are working with in the session so here are the two new regions we just created now, what if there was something we really liked about this pre-edited region over here that's no longer represented in our session? What if we just really liked that, the way it was put together, or whatever? <laughs> How do we get back to it? Well, the cool thing about the regions list is that all you have to do is click on it, and you can drag it right back into the edit workspace. And there is, that's our take, four. That's four. I'm going to undo that. But you could do that with any of these. There's our original take. Put that back in. Seven, seven, three, seven. And so nothing you delete in the edit workspace here is ever really deleted. It's always stored over in the, the regions list. By the time you're done with the song, you're going to have a lot of these files off to the side here in the regions list. All right, now let's say, for example, we accidentally uh, deleted this one. So it's playlist demo 02 underscore 04 hyphen 02. Okay, so let's say we accidentally deleted it. Um, back when I was a student, I did this a couple times, and I thought I had lost a take forever, so... I went and found the artist, whoever they were, and made them like re-record the parts. I did that more than once because I did not understand what was going on over here in this regions list. I didn't pay any attention to it. Had I known that nothing is ever really gone, I could have uh, just just pulled it over from from here and put it back. And there it is. It's back in its original spot. Well, not One, quite. Two, three, four close enough but let's say we wanted wanted it exactly in its original spot and uh, we'll delete this real quick all right um, well first of all which region was it uh, well there's a really cool feature if you cl uh, excuse me if you option click on any of these regions three it'll just three it'll preview it that's not two one so we're looking for three three that's three okay uh, let's go over to the left side of the page to these four edit modes which we'll talk about in a little bit but uh, I just want to show you this because it's a neat trick if we change this the edit mode from slip to spot then we come back over to our regions list and just drop this anywhere into the into the edit workspace even though we don't know where it was we don't know where it was originally 
place the computer remembers and there's this down at the bottom here you'll see it says original timestamp if you click that arrow it will promote the original timestamp up to uh, the start point click OK boom puts it right back exactly where it was originally so that's a great feature it's called spot mode but we'll switch back to slip over here okay and we've just explored a little bit of the functionality of the regions list